Welcome back to another trade tools video. Today we are in Svenningebakker, just outside of Fobor. And today we're gonna ride the red trail. As you might already have noticed, this is the same recording as in the blue trail video that, but that came out last week. And that is just because that the red trail is not a specific trail, but rather many smaller red sections that you can choose to ride within the blue trail. So the blue trail is more or less the main trail that goes around and you can see we just cut off to the right here to go into the blue trail and then we have some red sections all along the trail and you can also see in this video that not all of the red sections are followed by each other so that means that I think one time in this video we're gonna make a big jump in terms of where we are on the trail because mostly the red sections start on one part of the blue trail and connect a little bit further down the blue trail but one of the places it connects way further down the blue trail so that is uh, a place where we will cut back on the blue trail so that is really why the this video is so long it's because it's yeah basically both the blue and the red trail in one one video so uh, yeah if you haven't already have noticed this video is over a half an hour long so uh, you really uh, have to find a good spot a good position to be in because uh, yeah this is gonna be a long one but as you can see this is the first red section and some of the red sections and i believe this is one of them is some of the old trail that was uh, used a couple of years ago because as i said in the blue trail tours video from Svenningbakker this trail is an old trail but in the old days it was way more tight than it is today and they're way less flowy so now you can see we're going out into the berm scan the blue trail and uh, generally you can this, uh, decide if it's a red section or blue section depending on if I have the telemetry on screen so if I have the watts and the heart rate and such such things and uh, right now we are as uh, you can see on a red section and we're just turning left into a blue section right here again which means that the telemetry is back on and that is also why you see a little bit of a jump because we switch from one video to another and just in case you haven't seen the trail tour from the blue trail of uh, Svenningebakker I don't really know exactly how long uh, the red trail is or how long you have to ride before you have ridden all of the red sections but according to my Strava the blue trail here in uh, Svenningebakker is about 4.3 kilometers and if you have to ride all of the red sections also and you have to go back and forth between the sections you probably have to to ride like six or seven kilometers for uh, for you to <coughs> have uh, ridden all of the sections and uh, now we're getting into the first really hard red section which is an uphill and uh, I must admit that I had to try this a few times before I got it and uh, yeah you can see I have to to really be precise and actually hop a little bit around to even get around and uh, it probably doesn't help that I have such a big bike because I'm pretty tall but yeah that's just an excuse and uh, yeah now we're getting into the first <coughs> proper downhills first pretty scary downhills and uh, there is two downhills right here so that is also why there's a little bit of a cut and this is the left downhill and right after we're gonna take the right downhill so uh, as you can see from about now yes I've switched to my running shoes <coughs> or should I say just my normal cycling shoes but I don't have the uh, technical capacity <laughs> if you can say so to ride this trail so that's why I'm just running the sections to show you uh, because if you want to ride it yourself when you get out here you have a visual of what is expected and this is the right <coughs> the right line and uh, 
it's a little bit of the same thing when I get around this right hand corner because it was uh, a little bit slippery and this lock is a little bit off camera so I wasn't sure if my front wheel was going to slip and if you don't know about my setup I don't have a dropper post on currently so that definitely doesn't help the situation with me not being able to go downhill but yeah again that's my, no my own choice and uh, I have to sacrifice a little bit there so this is the red section that is the longest and is going to require me to have a little bit of a jump in the video when we get down to the end and uh, that is why when you see the jump that we go back to the blue trail right when we cut off on the red trail just before this and um, this is also if I'm uh, correct the, one of the older parts of the trail and you can see it's just yeah it's not as well maintained but also just the <clears throat> the surface is it's not as man-made it's more or less just <clears throat> you have more or less just taken away all the grass and all the plants to just know where I have to go and uh, with all the roots instead of the perfectly shaped berms and gravel all around the other, <clears throat> and the other parts of the trail that is really pleasant to ride is way more old school and uh, yeah so if that's something you like more than the new school flow then that is definitely a possibility for you to ride these these um, sections so now we're just going over one of the fire roads and going into another section of the trail and actually a funny story when i uh, one of the last times i rode this section my saddle i believe actually went up going loose and i had to to tighten it but i I didn't remember to have my multi tool with me, so I fortunately had some some guys I knew uh, on the trail with me, and I had to loan some of their tools to tighten my saddle uh, and for it to not fall off. So, but that is just uh, an uh, example of how rough these uh, old parts of the trail can be. So, uh, yeah, with all the all of the roots. And uh, that is definitely a reflection of how it was back in the day and also another thing back in the day most of us were on hardtails and uh, that it definitely didn't help the situation of, of how rough it was and uh, especially me I was also on a hardtail and uh, yeah I, uh, I can definitely remember those, <laughs> those days of uh, just getting bumped around so aggressively on the hardtail but uh, yeah now it's new new school with the fully the full suspension and uh, sometimes even the drop post and uh, yeah also the 120 millimeter front fork instead of uh, 100 millimeters just makes a big difference and uh, especially on the downhills but also just your position because you sit a little bit taller on the 112 millimeter suspension because the fog is a little bit taller and uh, yeah i like it because then i can also have a little bit of a lower stem so in my opinion this just also looks really aesthetic so this is also a pretty narrow descent and uh, you really have to look out for some of the trees going down here and there's a little jump right there and uh, also some of these corners can be pretty slippery because you can see some of the, the black or, or at least some of the darker spots is where there's a small bit of like mud and uh, usually you can spot it but if you if you don't have the time to, to spot it or to react you uh, yeah you really have to look out that your especially your front wheel the, don't just wash out and uh, yeah so we're also getting into a little bit of a steeper descent if I remember correctly just in a few seconds time and it's definitely not anything really <coughs> hard but also you can see there's water down in the hole here and it's a bit of a tight corner going up here so uh, you really also have to be precise going over the roots and uh, to have them not snipe your one of your wheels out, out from under you and right here I took the wrong line, you can see I have to turn really tight around the tree so 
you have to, to to take the left line going up that hill to yeah get the better line uh, around the right corner but I think there is not that much time left because before we get into one long downhill and uh, that is the last downhill before we go back to the blue trail where we cut off and uh, we actually yeah we're going over a like tall mount right here it's really i hate it i both love both love it and hate it right here it's so narrow and i actually had to lift my rear wheel a little bit to just turn the bike around and now we're going into the big long off camber section and actually i really like it it's it's hard and uh, it's challenging but it's also good for uh, progressing your technical skills and uh, that is really something i have to work on even though i feel like i'm working on it constantly so uh, yeah some of these sections are pretty hard and uh, coming up in probably a few seconds there's some trees that stand really close to each other it's coming up right there right here and i basically yeah just fell also because my front wheel was just about to hit a tree stump and there i unfortunately went a little bit too far right i didn't stay up enough on the on the hillside but uh, yeah that was actually the off camera section done right here and we get uh, over to the big uphill the first big uphill of the trail uh, on the blue trail that is yeah not too far from the end probably five to ten minutes from the end but uh, yeah again now we're back to the blue trail and we just have a little section now before we go into two red downhills two really good red downhills actually they are probably as far as i know the newest addition to the trail and uh, yeah they're really fun i personally like the left one the most if i remember correctly and we're just going into them right in the forest here we're turning left and um yeah i'm also just showing you how to get back uh, back up and um yeah so if some of the trails are showed twice it's just for uh, me to be sure that you know where to go to find the trails and then uh, yeah i just want this series to be a little bit a little more of an informative series instead of just uh, fun and entertaining because uh, just um, holding out certain content can be uh, the deciding thing if you know where to go or not so this is the start of the first descent my favorite of the two and also just because it's longer than the other one and uh, just just because it goes out to the left right here instead of the other one is pretty straight forward straight downhill and uh, there's also some jumps and i haven't ridden it uh, this is this descent enough to know all of the jumps so that is why i have manual some some of them and you can see this one and uh, also this one yeah and i was just about to go into the tree and uh, right here you can also go uh, right in front out over the drop but we're gonna take that on the right line instead and uh, yeah now we're just going into to that line and now we're just going back into the the remaining blue trail but now we're just cutting to the blue trail again and that is why you see a cut here but now we're just uh, going on this little bit of trail and we're just turning right up here to go back to the two downhills where we're going to take the right downhill uh, instead of the left to show you that one and that is why we're going to probably see this section twice and it's just to to show you where to go when you possibly get down here yourself and we're just gonna turn right right up here to turn back to the other trails just going up this little steep ascent and there's actually if i remember correctly yeah a little bit of off camber and just a little bit of tight trails 
and now we're just going straight over here and uh, <coughs> the trails cross right there so you, uh, just uh, look out if someone's coming from your left in this case uh, to not just uh, hit bottom on the, the corner so now we're going into the right downhill and uh, it's also definitely fun it's a little bit faster and uh, it's one of the corners yeah this descent and this corner can be really um, the the ground can be really what's it called uh, not that stable i don't really know how to describe it but yeah just not go too fast on, on the first attempt because sometimes you it uh, can be really unsettling i don't know if you can say that but just be careful on the first attempt because uh, yeah it's not uh, always really good to yeah you know what i mean just be careful on the first attempt so now we are back on the trail we saw before, but it's just uh, yeah for like 20 seconds and we're turning left onto the blue trail, continuing over to the next red sections. And the next red sections I have actually only written on this day where I recorded this video, so I don't really uh, remember how the lines were or anything. And uh, I don't, I don't know if it's something new, and uh, if it's something that is going to be improved. I imagine so because it was pretty bare. There wasn't a lot of features as uh, there is on all of the other parts of the trail. So yeah, you can maybe look out for the future and uh, to see more of the features on that part of the trail. But for now, we're just going on the blue section and going up this little ascent before going into the next red sections going on this stony path and uh, just pushing about 500 watts right now I can see and going around this tight left hand corner and going up between these two very tight trees I hate these tight trees right here I, I always squint a little bit and this corner I actually really like yeah, you could probably hear it a little bit. My rear wheel just burped a little bit. Actually, it for my setup, I can just sit down in the saddle and just yeah turn my hips and it just goes around perfectly in the corner and just feels so satisfying. I really love that corner. And then uh, now we're just going around the top right here on the slippery zones, or at least it can be slippery from time to time where when it has rained a little bit. But now we're just going into the last right hander of the blue trail before turning into the red trail. Also, this uh, blue trail downhill on the left is pretty fun. You can see that in the blue trail to video from Svenning and Bagger. And uh, yeah, I <coughs> don't really know how to describe this trail that great because I've only ridden it on this day, as I said. And it is probably a month or two ago, so I basically can't even remember. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will just comment on what I see. And yeah, I remember there were two sections. So at first we're gonna turn left, I believe, just going over these rocks. I yeah, completely out of nowhere, I basically went into one of the trees, but it's not a hard descent, uh, but there's some some uh, stones lying around and there's a few cuts right here because my GoPro battery was almost dead at this point so it just auto turned off on me constantly and it was really <laughs> infuriating because I just wanted to to be done with filming and uh, yeah we, now we're just cutting back to the right uh, where we turn right and this is a little bit longer if I remember with some bigger corners and as you can probably see there's it seems a little bit old there isn't a lot of features on the trail so yeah it's just kind of flat and yeah but fortunately there is uh, the blue trail in my opinion uh, right here when we we turn right in this 
video, but if you are turned left on a blue trail, uh, the descent is really good, R really good. Uh, actually, one of my one of my favorite of the trail. And yeah, right here we are back on the blue trail, and this is more or less. Or we have a little bit of the descent left, but that is when you get down after the des this descent. The, then the first big climb starts and uh, yeah it is a really really long climb uh, yeah it's the longest climb of the of the trail but it's not yeah the first part is actually really fun because they've made it into like a, a technical bit and uh, you are almost climbing a little bit without even knowing it because you're just yeah busy going around the corners and uh, hopping over the the trail and yeah, you can just see it in like the next 10 seconds and just remember to go on the outside of this corner because it gets really tight if you don't have if you don't get up on the right side and uh, I can say that from experience <laughs> and uh, now we're going into the first part of the big ascent and it's just a really fun part of the ascent and you can actually jump a little bit over the trail and uh, yeah but just remember this corner, this left corner right here. You have to uh, look out for the tree because, as you saw in the video, I have to, I had to, uh, yeah, go down with my upper body a little bit, not to hit my back on the tree, and uh, yeah, just to carry the speed around the left-hand corner and up the hill. But if you remember, then when we got uh, just past that tree is where the long off camera section get down, gets down to yeah, the, the remaining part of the, the blue trail and goes up this big long hill and uh, this is just a steep part where I have to push basically a thousand watts to get up at, a, up, at a up at a decent speed and I would say now we are probably about halfway up in terms of yeah, more or less both length and height and uh, yeah, now your legs will be really burning if you have put in a lot of effort up the climb and it's, it just continues. This part is also really, I would also say, al almost say depressing because I feel like the, the surface is really uh, draggy and uh, it's not really rolling that fast and you can almost see the, the toe on my body right here. I was just about to go head first into the tree and uh, when I watched the video back I almost uh, can see that my front wheel is washing out and some of the black spots and uh, my flow really got disrupted right there and my cadence was just way too low because I was so tired I just yeah didn't want to, to push that many watts right there I couldn't really push that many watts right there because I'm I wouldn't I'm definitely not on my limit because you can see my my uh, <clears throat> heart rate is about 175 180 and uh, I can go a little bit higher than that but yeah I am um, also have to not crash because I need to have my focus especially for the next section because we are turning left into one of the last i believe red sections and this is a little bit of a tricky one at some places and um yeah this is also i believe one of the older parts of the trail and it gets also pretty steep at some points and especially right here turning around on the left it gets a little bit steep and uh, there is also a few routes uh, going along on the trail so you have to watch out a little bit for those and there is a bit of an awkward drop right here because, but you can just lift your front wheel uh, to the left and uh, yeah go around but this is also a slow speed janky section that's yeah you can see i'm almost crashing every second second and uh, these drops and that uh, wander water pond right there and yeah it's just one big chaos for me down this section but it definitely also doesn't help with me not having a drop post on but yeah it's it's good technical training for me 
And uh, I don't really have uh, power on right here, but it was just a technical difficulty and uh, yeah, it just comes back, abracadabra, boom. And yeah, now we're going into the second um, big climb and the last big climb of the trail, but we are going to be going to do this climb two times in this video because one of the red sections go back uh, down the hill on the right so we have to go back up again to not uh, I don't want to cut too much in this video and I want to keep it keep it flowing so we keep it as realistic and as informative as possible but we are almost up the ascent right now we're just turning right up here and then we're turning right into the red section and this is arguably the hardest red section uh, that there is on the trail and especially at the end there is a couple of different lines and some of it i believe is black and uh, i'm riding some of it and not uh, some of the some of the others but i've only ridden this section like two or three times and that's also because it's some of the new and i don't get here out here so often so uh, that's the reason why i'm going both slow and uh, not taking all of the all of the features so uh, just bear with me on this descent and actually coming up after this little fast section the really fun section is my first time on this descent coming up right here on the right yeah last no i take the left one uh, yeah i this is also the first time i wrote this uh, this one but the right uh, when we turn turn right on uh, the section the downhill right before this this is also my first time going down that and that is this one Last time I was here with someone else, I actually didn't end up taking it uh, because I was too afraid and now we're just off the back again running just to show you and you can drop all of these on on less the two last two la or maybe the the second last you can't drop you have to to yeah, jump it or at least like lift your rear wheel so that was the reason why I didn't do it and uh, yeah it's a little bit of a sketchy descent. But the reason why I didn't do the last one the last time was because one of my my friends and uh, someone someone I ride with sometimes he went down it and because it's off camera and you have to go turn right at the bottom his rear wheel ended up uh, locking up and just slide uh, nearly uh, slid out in front of him so his rear wheel turned to the right and he had to turn to the right so yeah it was he was almost going to crash but he didn't do it but that's just if it was my head enough to not wanting to do it also because it has rained in the morning and yeah i didn't end up doing it but i did it today for the video and i hope you are grateful for that and as i said we're now going up this last ascent for the second time and we are actually almost finished with this trail and also the video there is about two minutes left and we are yeah the rest of the trail is either blue or green because right in the start there is a little green loop that you can do and i don't i think it's mostly for for people that want to either warm up or have never ridden uh, anything harder before but it's great to see that that uh, the guys here in Svenningerbag are just taking care of everyone so everyone has something to ride on and this left hand corner you just have to look a little uh, look out a little bit because it can be slippery and you're just going straight into the tree if you can get around the corner as well and also there is a little brute right after and this corner just feels like an eternity. I've, it doesn't seem that long when you see it in the video, but if you ride it, it's, it feels like you're uh, uh, <clears throat> turning 360 degrees, but 
we are just turning about 200 degrees, I think, about that. But now we're into the green trail and uh, green slash blue trail because it's the last part of the blue trail also. And uh, you can also see it on the sign there, it's actually the green trail, but we are now into the last part of the, the trail, lasts about 45 seconds. And uh, yeah, if I haven't said it already in this video, I don't remember because it was like over half an hour ago I started doing this. But uh, this is probably the last trail tour video where I'm going to do a voiceover because we have already filmed the next trail tours and I ended up speaking in the video itself and not doing this uh, yeah, voiceover because I just feel like it's not really that yeah, my voice isn't too great doing this. It's better on the, the video itself, but yeah. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.